Back up two inches. Just two. Ready, go. Vaccination, a vaccinated nation. It's time to open up and have a proper vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just want to get it because I might have a better camera. That's Rob Bay. All right, you don't. There's no time to talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's go. I love the temporary tattoos. They just drive me wild. We're headed back You're in. You're such a fun. Excuse me, which is the salt shaker building? That? Yes. That looks like a salt shaker? On the very, very top, they have little uh, plates that have holes. That's the salt shaker up top. Oh, right. And that's a Boeing building? Now it's the Boeing building, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was designed by John Storrs. Uh. That yourself that's right john Stewart i like this guy like the titanic. No, i know i like it uh, thank you i needed hey, something in like, sometimes you need something more than his big but head in your content close enough I to see it. a face on series. i love it Good, it's worth touching and I'm oh she's trying to spread it. In the 1780s. I can't help but be Kim Richard. So they took that steel reinforced concrete, they put it all the way down a few feet into bedrock, over a hundred feet down, then they go all the way to the top of the building with it. All the glass hangs off like a curtain. It's pretty fantastic. Because it's so slender, because the base is so narrow, that means it would sway a lot in the wind. So the way they fix that, the minimize the sway, is they use slosh dampers. Those are big tanks of water. So on the top floor, they have 12 big tanks of water that are full of 160,000 gallons of water. When the wind blows the building one direction, the water naturally sloshes the opposite direction. The building absorbs the energy and the sway is minimized. They're officially called tuned inertia slosh dampers. Some of my favorite things. The Burj Khalifa in Dubai uses slash dampers as one of the ways to minimize sway in their building as well. What is the name of that again? Is it the what, just the Y shape? Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. not a real Hyatt has offices to do it. In the 1960s, things were developed. He was, everyone else was doing it in right angles, straight lines. And he wanted to take the nature of the eyes and have right angles. So he was inspired by sunflowers stacked on top of each other. Wow. One of the most precious things I've ever seen. 
How precious. Hello, that was both fun and good. Ah, fuck it. That building is actually built on top of train tracks. See how I'm biased I am. I'm even gonna focus on Trump for a second. Right there. That's not an accident. That's on purpose. The second setback is the same height as one of the buildings across the river from it. Rocket shaped one. The third setback is the same height as the building around the corner from it. The AMA Plaza. This building was built for this specific location. It makes the most sense in this context. So we call that style of architecture contextualism. Sometimes it is that literal. It, it is that literal. I like it literal. She said it's called contextualism. She goes, sometimes it's that literal. I was like, I like it when it's literal. Adrian's from Chicago, so we're very... On the tallest tower, floor 83 to 84, both empty. Have you noticed? Or unfinished? They're actually done. That's the way they're supposed to look. So that is their low roof floor. Love that. Basically, it's mostly empty. There's an elevator shaft to maintain some water. And the wind is supposed to blow through the empty space, mostly empty space. Of the course it is. Building. That's a new one. Look, everybody knew that. And that's the only female architect change. All the things are the only female on the whole tour. On the whole tour. Uh, well, What's her name? The female. The only female architect on this whole tour. Her name is Janie. What was it? Jeannie. Oh, Jeannie. Jeannie Gang. Jeannie Gang. Jeannie Gang. Yes, Jeannie Gang. Jeannie Gang. What building like surpassed it in 1975? In the, oh, in 1998. Uh, 1998. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was a tower Malaysia. Malaysia, okay. Yeah. I was so, excited about it. That quenched your thirst for knowledge. It quenched my thirst for attention. You are a thirsty bitch. I'll admit it, I own it. But you're not, I didn't think you were even the thirsty bitch. I own it. Oh, this is the new Salesforce tower. Salesforce. I own their stuff. Uh, we were just in Texas. Thank you for the granite. Oh, yeah. That barrel of sorts lights up at night. This building I call Wow, that's the coolest thing I've seen. Crown on top. It's also easier to remember the 311 South Wacker. So, the Dice Mark. The merchandise mark we actually saw earlier was the first example of Art Deco we talked about, but we saw it really up close. Now that we're further away, wow, we see how big the building is. So much better for That what? was the largest building in the world when it was finished in 1930. It had its own zip code for a long time. What? Four million square feet of space. Seven and a half miles of Four million That's square feet of space. Chamber of Commerce and, wow. and police station. It's just huge. Oh it's built God. for the Marshall Fields Company. Didn't work out for them because of the Great Depression, but it was purchased by President Kennedy's dad in 1940. Hey, you hear that noise going on? Really? It'll be pretty loud underneath the bridge. I'll stop talking so that it's not adding to the noise. Oh, no. Not going to talk anymore. What are we going to do? I want to learn. Barges. Look at she's Look, look at we still have barges. They're so wide. This, this river is actually not very wide. There's nothing in there right now? Nothing? No, it's abandoned. You wanna buy it? Do you wanna buy it? But we can have oh it's cool to have a little harbor next to it. Yeah, yeah. something. Yeah. It's so cool, look at that. <laughs> Eventually. On the right hand side, that pixelated building, the gray and black one there. That is also an example of contextualism by the architecture firm Perkins and Will in 2010. It's not in context with the water though. If you look at the balconies, look at the different sizes. They're different sizes. Yeah. Gotham City oh, Bay? This building was the largest From Batman. in the world when it was finished. The roof is three and a half acres. Yeah, See Gotham City oh, Bay? From Batman? Now, this is no longer a post office. It hasn't been a post office since 1990. It's just too high. It's just too high, Kim. It's just too high. That building is just too high. Look at that. That's real gold on there. Right. She just said it's like 24 karat gold. She didn't think that that would fetch much money, but I think it would be. Ryan, aka Franco, what was your main takeaway in like one sentence? I was really impressed with the Art Deco architecture in Chicago. I was.
expecting it to be more European architecture. My, one of my main takeaways was that there's tons of Art Deco and contextualism here. I like the stuff that had European influences. The Bertrand stuff was amazing. And I really love that that one place, that one building had its own zip code. It was 4 million square feet, the marketplace building. I think it's marketplace. And that, um, that was the largest building in the world in 1930. So I really loved it. I need to do it again to take more in. Um, the Gotham City Bank was amazing. You know, stuff like that I always love. But um, it was awesome. I loved it. Thanks. Over and out. And I'm just fine feeling. So when you realize, don't turn you green in. If you say you're coming with me, I'll take you there. Like went right from my face to my sister beat her ass. So oh my god. Really? Sister I never met ass. your sister. You know you you got a Ouija board? Ass. <laughs> uh, you got a Ouija board? So so right the fuck up. Oh my god. <laughs> I wanna meet I mean you talked about her a lot, yeah, but Tika you don't play that. Yeah. That's the name of home, Tika. Tika. Hey, don't say it five times. She'll show up again. <laughs> Alright, show the star moving and shit. Tika. Yeah, now you see that episode of Atlanta or, or just about to cross the street. She's like, whatever. Put your ass feet. Yo, you just <laughs> shut somebody down. And black, that's like. <laughs> The only thing after you call somebody actually is to ask them if they want to fight. And listen, my V, I'm always moisturizing my V. Yeah. And I just joke that no, no, I'm no, I'm just He says about Grandma Pat. She's so funny. Uh, first of all, I love Aunt Pat. Yeah. I love her. She is a um, She's one of my she, favorite. She literally is one of my favorite people. Wait, so he world. called her Aunt Pat. I Aunt forgot Pat. about well, that. Because technically, it's, it is your aunt. Yeah. 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 But it's Grandma Pat to you. But anyway, she's so fun, isn't she? She is. And Uncle John, old school ass, would tell some old color jokes. And I would be like, <laughs> Should I fuck him up? <laughs> Didn't you hear that? Should I fuck him up? I almost rather you just call me a slur. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> should I fuck him up? Right. Or should, should I, I let him get away with it? Right. Or should I let you call him off? Should I fuck him up? Yeah. My parents, they, I always say they didn't beat my ass enough. And then there were times where they would ground me. I'm like, no. I need my ass beat Fuck me up. up. I need fuck to get my up. ass whooped. I thought my mom was in a WWE for a while. <laughs> With the way she used to fuck me up. I used to play dead and then my grandmother, she had to say. I thought she was in the WWE. No, no, I thought she was a ninja, a fat black ninja. My grandmother had this thing where like if I said something slick in church and she wanted to she would hit me no. Oh, she would get she a would, switch would, from the bushes. She no, not in church. She ain't got no bushes in church. I don't know what kind of church you go to. But you know, you she would hit me at least seven times before I even realized it. I'd be like, I don't even want to be at the church. And she'd be like, I'm like, oh ah, shit, bitch! What the fuck? How the fuck did you? Your old diabetic ass hit me so fast. I mean, that's how it was. It's so like Garcelle on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills goes. Uh, she's, I did what my mom said. I mean, my mom wasn't playing. I mean, she was a black mama. Right. And then beat your ass for picking a switch. Yeah. You, for she good was like, she, I mean, she, she was a black mama. For but for someone like mama. me, I know exactly what I'm that means. She charges. was a black mama. <laughs> you know what? Now I got you on film. You <laughs> old bitch. To Tony's family <laughs> mom, mom and grandmother. Go about to them. whoop his ass over the collard greens. All right. Because they're not up to snuff. Why are they not to snuff, Tony? Tony, why doesn't she like the collard greens? Or she's smoking? Because white people got I like white people coloring. Because you are a white people. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you that I, I, I was at least you keep something where she's like, I don't need diamonds or something. Ooh. What's that one? I know, sound like that. The Alicia Keys song. What's what she says? I hear one where she says. Anyway, like the Alicia Keys song where she's saying, <laughs> "Don't need diamond rings," and I thought she was like, "Don't need collard greens." You sound like you're in a mesothelioma commercial. Listen, like there's a Alicia Keys song. JG, what was? No, it's not no one. This one's the first Alicia Keys song. I'm not kidding. I, I'm not blowing smoke up your butt with the bubble blower. You need a reality show. <laughs> Fuck all these like promotion promotion. You see, already has a TikTok. You ain't see me on cops. Oh. <laughs>
long as you can name. When in an I'll drop her like it's hot when somebody else comes in hotter. I swear to God, like I, I don't have, have no passion, no, no I dedication, don't. and no, no I don't loyalty dedi- to an artist. I really don't. Isn't that's that, but that's, say. but that's, it's honestly, like who's changed your life? Like who's made a video or who's done something that's inspired nobody. you? So nobody. But that's you. He, um, you're, you're 30. He's not like 20. So like you don't know a lot of. I'm not that younger. young, but I'm not that old. You're not like my brother on too. music. I can speak with my brother, and I can even speak like where John Anzaldi said like he I likes, love Britney, but he also likes. I know he likes Christina Aguilera, and I know he likes Danity Kane. Do. Do you have a but like, do you like, like Yeah, they all like Britney. Yeah. I, mean, I bet I you will. can't name five Britney songs. Try it. Oops said it again. I'm a slave for you. <laughs> Lucky. Um, slumber Party, which is really recent. Okay. Yeah, Slumber Party, which is recent. Um, Britney Spears. Shit, fuck. Okay, I know there's a five, lot more. Okay. Four, um, three, two, uh, one. Oops, I did it again. I already Britney said so that. Uh, baby, time. one more time. Baby, one more time. Oops, I did it again. Is basically. Baby and crazy again. for you. No, it's Madonna. No, crazy. There's no, crazy. Crazy. It's not crazy for you. Madonna's like, I'm crazy for you. Okay. That's well, Madonna. I will say the only person that I crazy know a lot of songs you. is. Um, uh. Nobody. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't mean you don't Cent fall was, in love with an artist. 50 Cent was one of my artists that I really had a passion for. You just like candy shop. I take you to the candy shop. I let you lick my lollipop. <laughs> yes, oh, girl, don't you stop. Back to thinking of a shorter push up on a temperature rise. And okay, let's go to the next level. Dance hall jam packed out as a ticket. I'll break the phone. You're about to be a symbol. If you be an info, I'll be an info. In the hotel, in the back of the rental, I'm going to beat you in the park. It's whatever you into. I'm going to take you to the candy shop. shop. Uh, don't the baby and Madonna also has a sh- song candy shop which is like see which flavor you like and I'll have it for you come on into my store I got candy galore don't pretend you're not I hungry wish, I, I, wish that I, had I wish I had that I wish I had that I can talk you through that I wish I had that get up and you'll see you'll see come on out to the dance floor I got something to feed you come on out to the dance floor I need plenty of tea yeah. Yeah. I don't give you what you want We only got four minutes. Do you guys know where a fun place to go is? Hello. Oh, you know where I'm going out tonight. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to be. I don't kiss on the lip. You want to kiss? Let's do a kiss. The I Casey guess. Anthony has gone free. Do you remember Nancy Grace when Casey Anthony got like a... Oh, See, tell them what you thought about that. When Casey Anthony that was, was that free. so much fun. Nancy Grace like, the devil is dancing tonight. Casey Anthony was that free. What did you think about when Casey Anthony was slept free after she killed her little baby? Kaylee. Her baby Kaylee. Does everyone remember when Casey Anthony killed her baby Kaylee? Oh my god, you don't remember Nancy Grace? The devil is dancing tonight. Casey Anthony has gone free. B49, come on, you can do it. Five. Ten, twelve, fifteen. Whoa, that was good. Oh, that was... I want to be 49 points. That's my high score. No one saw that. Wait, wait. Look at this is a thirst trap. This is what a thirst trap looks like. Here it goes. This is thirst trap. Thirsty, thirsty, thirst trap. Thirst, thirst. My name is Thirst Trap. Thirsty. My name is Thirsty. Thirsty, 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 thirst trap. Oh, I'm embarrassed that he's my boyfriend because he almost threw two dark in my eyes and then he's like, I need to my hand, put this mic over Maybe he deserved it. Good job, whoever played that. Good job, guys!
Dude, you're such a good friend. Thank you. I can't believe she's 30. 30? 30. She's gorgeous. I know. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. Sam, about to get killed. Oh, he wants in. They're not letting you in. I don't know. You can get in. If you can get in, that would be great. Anyway. We can't even get in. Why? I thought they told us to come here. Everybody's locked out. They don't even have euros. Sir, no euros? Uh oh, he's calling the cops. Uh oh. Look at it. The guy, look at all the chefs. Franco, they're chefs. You want to go bust the, bust the window? Look how sexy and cute my boo-boo-boo boo boo is. He wants a euro so bad. He I'm walks hungry, all hungry. the way here. Look at him, because he fasts all day long, and now he's hungry. He's got that big booty that needs to be fed. Big old booty needs to be fed. Look at that big booty. Look at him. Look at him. That big booty out. doesn't come for nothing. And he's... <gasps> Sir, can we order some euros? We're, oh, we're from New York up, and we're here. We were told... Anybody. Okay, oh, what can I order from you? For me, no. Order Two online. chicken euros with oh, everything. Online and delivery. Order online. What the fuck? I'm in Humboldt Park in Chicago's neighborhood, just whew, west of the city. I'm on a fun run. I love getting my cardio in after a good night of food. And I'm just trying to sweat off all that extra calories that I had at dinner last night. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. And I'm excited to show you there's one of Chicago's little secrets, Humboldt Park. Why go to Lake Michigan when you can just hang out at La Playa, Humboldt Park? In the direction that we need to, or do you want to just keep walking in the circle? Which Come way on. you want to go, child? Yeah, I'm um, to Indianapolis because I'm exhausted. Well, you always are exhausted because you blow yourself up on the weekend. I'm exhausted because You're last night boy. your uncle's boyfriend and I got into it, and then I couldn't sleep because I felt anxious about it. Aww, you know, it's always good fun to just have a little. Back and forth. Alright, friend, you want our, our way to Ella Ellie? See? Up there, Ella Ellie. Um, this is part of four star restaurant group, which Dunley, Michael Dunley Dunn's, 
started with his cousin back in 2003. Crosby's Kitchen is right here that they opened up a couple years ago. Is it's this Ella seating Ellie. for Ella Ellie right here in this beautiful seating? It's right over there, darling. I'm saying at this outdoor seating, who owns this? This is for Crosby Kitchen right in here. Uh, oh, I see. Ooh, Ella Ellie looks there. like they got a little something something. They got a little something something. And this is Reagan's favorite, Aunt Regana. Uh, listen. I looked at the menu, it was, it was like there was a scallop on top of it. Ooh, Soto and like, yes. This is exactly what I want. I want high end tonight. It's Saturday night in Chicago. Yes. Although we almost hightail it out of here without even going anywhere near the lake. I know, isn't that I know, wild? I know, here because the green is past. It's I know, and green. you look beautiful in the sunlight. I do? Yeah, you look like a handsome devil. I was starved. <laughs> that was good. I haven't heard that actually ever. Okay, let's Welcome. Welcome. Advertising done. <laughs> Kitchen guys, and I'm excited for Ryan to try out the delicious. Wow! So this is a lobster deviled egg. I don't know if anybody's ever had one of these, but oh, he wants to be in it. Aww. Um, these are delicious. Delectable. He likes to add it. He likes to replace the. E and delectable with a U. Are you impressed with Crosby? Hi, I'm excited to be here, Crosby's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw just now on that screen. <laughs> okay, so this is us driving through Chicago. I don't know what neighborhood this is. It's um, might want to do our research, but look at this. Got under your skin, all in. You got the white knuckles holding on a tie, keeping your feelings bottled up inside. Heading for a collision in the night. To really live, you gotta die. Breathe in. Snacking on there, bro, guy. Have you seen a more beautiful beef? An everything bagel with cream cheese and bread onion. Mm. I've never, I have never been in a body of water like this where you have this and you're like in the ocean or like I'm in like Michigan and it's like that in the background it's insane Kelly, you're gonna be in the episode. This is Kellen, Franco's cousin. Ryan's got it's the bullpit with Ryan and Brian, so we call him Ryan for these purposes, but most people know him as Frank. Okay, because a lot of everyone in California knows him as Franco. 
his stage name Franco Stevens. <laughs> She's like, oh, fuck no. No, I don't even want to call him Franco anymore. I feel like a fraud. So the first time I was in Chicago was with this one, and Dunge flew us out, and we had a blast that weekend. He was he was living above Smoke Daddy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke Daddy. It was so, like, it was kind of, like, ghetto chic. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had like a tent on the rooftop and we thought we were camping in the city. But you know, we didn't sleep at all. We found like... Oh, I know all about that. Gay porn on someone's computer. <laughs> oh, yes. We opened up the wrong tab. It was, <laughs> you know, his name's Jacob, but he is such a Can funny... you not throw Jacob under the bus? I guess if he's out. <laughs> Okay, so me and her would always pick up stories, like, and she would always. By the way, like, being gay is not being thrown under the bus. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't use that expression. I mean, Kelly, you always knew that I was a little flamer, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just of like course. trying to bring these girls around and have sex with them. You're like, oh, he'll figure it out one day. <laughs> <laughs> she knew me better than I knew myself. <laughs> Oh my God, Kelly. When, would, when me and her would do these little acts, like we would be at like family reunions at Mama Lou. Yeah, Mama Lou's an eerie. Yeah. Oh, man. Making out with herself. Yeah. I was like trying to like make out with myself. I don't know how What? Long, yeah, you were trying to make possible? out with yourself? Was he like making out in the mirror? Can you show us a little? How do you do that? <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was like. Oh my God, Kelly. <laughs> like, what kind of perverted little kid I was, right? <laughs> and I love how she hosted my friends as if like well you were they loved you more than me. Yeah. And you know Nate's getting married in Italy in in a month. Wow, this place is cool. So we are at the Blue Door in Chicago because we were walking the car to get make our way to Wisconsin. And I just saw Sean McCurt on the night. There's Ryan. Nice of you to meet it. <laughs> What's going on, Braga? Uh, well, they got shrimp and grits on the menu, and it you looks really get it? cool. Look at this place. Yeah, this is a quintessential hot spot in Chicago off of River North. It's in that, it's a neighborhood right north of Michigan Avenue, and it's really known for the best southern cuisine that you could ever imagine. Such a fucking booty, and I don't even sound believable because everything that I'm saying is like. You're winging it, aren't you? You're really struggling as you're improv, winging it. My improv muscle isn't working because we have been out of class for so long since March of 2020. Is this your release? You got that right. So, one of these times that in Chicago. <laughs> I came here and they have the best donuts, Stanley's Donuts. Check it out, Chicago. <laughs> Stop turning everything. You are not Laura Linney in the Truman Show. <laughs> I'm very excited to have shrimp fingers. I'm not gonna lie, this Academy of Fine Arts is just one more thing that I'm finding really interesting about this city. Uh-oh, there he is in his vodka bra. It just keeps little, going all the way over down here. It's here. like a castle. New York doesn't even have anything like this. What, know, what is it's this? It's beautiful. This is Michigan Avenue. I love this. The Magnificent Mile. So can I tell you a little story? Yeah. Over here, this H&M is the first H&M that I was ever at at 12 years old. I came with my grandma. Back. Stop, don't move. I'm, not, I'm moving backwards so you don't move forward. You're not going to hear the audio with all the shit. Okay, good. So this is the first H&M that I was at at 12 years old with Grandma Pat. She bought me the first pair of jeans that fit perfectly with my donkey booty. Okay, with well your donkey and booty. And on top of that, she took me to Abercrombie and Fitch over here in the water tower. And we got my favorite shirt. It's all relative in West Virginia with the shape of the state of West Virginia. It was epic. What's going on? How do you like Chi Town? Well, I think there's a lot of regulation hotties everywhere. Ooh, he's always on the prowl. I am not. He's always on the prowl. I can't help but notice the regulation <laughs> hotties. Hey, I'm all about it too. <laughs> I mean, anybody with a brain is about it. I mean, we're human beings. Look at that skyline behind us. The, the water is so pretty. The water is like greenish blue. It looks so clear and clean. Like I you can know. drink it. 
This is the three months out of the year Shy Town is all lit up. Thank you.